everyone and welcome to my utility paint video and today guys I will make a Taylor Swift doll yes finally finally guys because I'm such a huge fan of Taylor Swift I want to make this doll ready for a very long time and now you know I've been sitting here listening to her new album already for a couple of weeks since it uh, come out and now I feel like yes this is the time I feel very inspired I feel like I know what to do I feel I I feel like I know how to turn the regular generic Barbie into Taylor Swift so let's give it a go let's Let's give it a try so this is gonna be our project of the week so let's start probably the transformation in the beginning of course I have to remind you to subscribe to my channel I upload new doll repaint videos every week Friday or every second week Friday depends on the size of the project of course uh, support my art here on YouTube with your likes it's very important and hit the bell button to get notified about my new uploads and this being said let's start the transformation I've decided to use this Barbie doll as a model, you know, there is no doll that would be specifically sculpted as Taylor, but, well, at least I couldn't find one online. So I will go with this generic Barbie face. I think Taylor and Barbie are very similar in general, they're very look-alike, so it will be good. And this doll has a fully articulated made-to-move body, and it's a huge plus point because it will make our mini Taylor kind of more poseable, fully articulated, it's very good. So, to start, I will like always undress this doll, I will cut off her hair, then I will warm her head up with a hair dryer to make it soft, then I will disconnect the head from the body, and after this, I will remove her face with pure acetone. Done, guys. I've got the clean canvas and now I can start drawing her new face after sealing the surface with a couple of layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant. I use watercolor pencils and soft pastels like usually and I apply more sealant between the layers to protect my work. So in my goal for today, of course, is to create a face that would be recognizable as Taylor Swift on this regular Barbie face.
but I think I'm happy with her face. Now let's give a quick blush to her body and then we'll work on her outfit. So, the outfit. I want to recreate this beautiful look. I think it looks absolutely stunning and it will be also very interesting to work on. So, let's do it. I think it's a good idea. First of all, I will make this sort of a swimsuit out of this light nude color mesh. I will actually use a double layer of fabric to make kind of better, thicker background for applying rhinestones in the future. So yes, check it out, this is the base, this is how it looks, and now let's decorate it all with these rhinestones, really. I have a ton of rhinestones here in my studio, some of them I've bought especially for this project, and they're, gosh, rhinestones are expensive, really, guys, and some of them are coming from my stock, so let's make something using them. Okay, this is what I've ended up making, I don't know, I think it looks so cute, you can see that I've also added these tights to make uh, it even closer to the original look. The boots I will make out of Warbler Thermoplastic, I will warm it up with a hairdryer, it will become soft, so I will form the boots and then they will become hard, like regular plastic.
So then I will cover them with white and pearl sand acrylics and after this I will cover them with the rest of the crystals. Here are the finished boots, check it out guys, I think they're amazing, so sparkling really, and here is our headless tailor, <laughs> really, I think this doll is already recognizable as tailor even without her face, I think this outfit looks really stunning, so sparkly, really beautiful, love it. So now I want to make her guitar decorated with rhinestones because you know it's kind of an iconic object and for this I will need my 3D printer. I don't know, somehow I've forgotten about having this beautiful machine. So I'm printing a mini guitar and then I will paint it and decorate it with rhinestones as well. Actually, I wonder how many crystals, how many rhinestones I will be using in this project. Thousands, definitely thousands of them.
Well, this is where I've ended up with the guitar. Check it out. I think it looks absolutely adorable. A teeny tiny mini guitar. I really love it. Really super cute. Now we're almost done, but I still need to take care of her hair. I will use this beautiful premium alpaca fibers. Check it out. I use them just for my best dolls, really. I've used uh, this hair for Ryan Gosling as can, uh, for blonde Billie Eilish from Vogue. Remember when Billie, Billie Eilish was blonde? <laughs> it was some period. And now for Taylor Swift. So just uh, the top of celebrities can get this kind of hair in my studio. Do. And I can't even express how soft and silky this hair is. Really, it's a pure pleasure. It's softer than a cat. <laughs> Super soft, amazing. So let's glue this hair to this doll's head. And then when the glue gets dry, I will cut her bangs and I will style her hair like a general. what I've made. Check it out guys. I don't know. Doesn't it look cute? <laughs> I absolutely love it. I think it's amazing. Now let's add gloss to her eyes and lips and then I'll take a look at the end result pictures. guys this is my finish taylor swift doll and i've definitely never used that many rhinestones in my work i tried to calculate the amount of used crystals and it looks like i used more than six thousand of them 
6,000 guys, <laughs> really, that's crazy. It took me a while, of course, uh, to place all these rhinestones, but the end result looks really amazing, in my opinion. So, bling bling, really shiny, sparkly, amazing, really. Her face looks like Taylor, even though it wasn't a special Taylor Barbie, but a generic one. Uh, her outfit is blinding, so I don't know, I think everything is really pretty. The outfit and all the accessories, it was really fun to make, so I'm very happy with the end result. And I really hope, guys, that you enjoy the end result as well, so please let me know your thoughts in the comments under this video. And also, guys, please let me know what other celebrities do you want me to recreate in a doll form in the future. I kind of need some inspiration for my future creations. Uh, you can always help me by sharing this video on your social media and tagging Taylor on your posts or maybe some Swifties groups and accounts to help me kind of share this video with the world and if you want to buy this doll you can find a link to my eBay shop in the description box under this video this doll is available there for three days so and that was my doll transformation of the week I really hope you enjoyed it today and if so guys please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes of course subscribe to my channel hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos and I will see you back in two weeks on Friday in my new doll makeover have a nice weekend love you guys bye